Hello, welcome to TechSummit. In this session, we will discuss about the overdbf command, which is for override database file. So there are various uh, scenarios in which we can utilize this overdbf command to make the logic uh, useful. So let me show you the uh, file first. And the first scenario that we are going to discuss today is uh, for accessing the file from two different library. So suppose there is a scenario where we have same name a file in two libraries and we want to fetch the data from particular one then how to use over dbf for that so for that i will firstly show you the data of both files and then we'll see the output so i'm running one command strsql here i'm executing one query select start from library name is shermit1 and file name is testpf1 so this file contains data of five records uh, from user id 1 to 5 and username user 1 to user 5 okay now same query i'm running but this time i'm checking for the file which is in library shermit 2 file name is same but the library is changed here the data is from 10 to 15 okay so now what we will do we will fetch the data from this library means the second library using over dbf command okay so before we discuss program let me show you one command which is dsp ovr so why we use this command this command shows all the override that is implemented over the file so just hit enter here so it, right now it is showing no files overrides okay because so far we didn't uh, do any override right here so let's go through the program in program what we are doing we are firstly declaring the file using dclf command so just write dclf here you can pass the file name and then just hit enter Below to that we are using over dbf command so let's see how just write over dbf press f4 here you can pass the file name file being overridden and overriding to database file so here I'm passing the file name as testpf1 shermit2 this name you can select anything uh, uh, we, in the next session we will see like how to access the data with different name also but for now we are just going to discuss uh, how to access uh, the fi same file from different library so just pass your file name and uh, library is shermit2 there are various options for this but we will go one by one in each session so hitting enter so after line number 15 got executed it will overwrite the file below to that we are uh, using rcbf command to reading the data only one record okay and then we are using sndpg msg command for printing that so i'm converting the numeric value to character because it only accepts the character so we are converting user id to character and then we are printing the username which is of character type so we are directly printing it okay now below to that we are using dlt ovr command which is for deleting the override so make sure that this name should be equivalent to this name if you are changing here then it should be changed here also otherwise it will give error that we will see in the next session how it will work fine so why we are doing delete override because it is always mandatory to or means it is always recommended to do the delete override otherwise what will happen it will it the change will be impact uh, in the impact throughout the process so better to delete override the file once your processing is done so let's compile it and call this program calling it so you can see now the data is coming from the library shermit2 not from shermit1 file name is same in both libraries but data is coming from library shermit2 okay so let's check using dsp ovr command still it is showing no file override why because this override has been performed only for the program level it means only override is performed on the program not outside or not for the job so let's see the query are we able to access the data on uh, from library 2 from same name so let's try select star from library shermit1 file name is testpf1 so you can see still it is showing data from 1 to 5 not from 10 to 15 why because we didn't perform the override on the entire job so let's do this so you can go for over dbf command tick f4 here do page down and we can set the over scope so press f4 here from here these three options we can select the option third which is star job so what it will do it will override the file for the entire job so let's pass it and just hit enter okay so if you are overriding the job for job level then 
you are not supposed to do delete override here because we want to see it throughout the entire job so I'm commenting it for now calling it so it shows the data from second library which is fine it was doing the same previously also now we will do the query strsql and hit the same query we are using we are passing the library name as shermit1 in hitting enter but still it shows the data from library shermit2 because we have performed the override on the entire job not on the program okay it means if we try to access the same thing from different session then it will not work because this is only for the job level select star from shermit1 test pf1 so you can see here it is showing only from the 1 to 5 not from second library so this is the difference between job level and program level and here if you try to run this command dsp ovr then it will show that this file is being overridden by this file and this library so this is how this works one more thing like if you want to delete override for this specific scenario like where you are using scope in that case you are supposed to pass the scope level at the time of delete override also so just press F4 here you can select the same star job so what it will do it will remove the override delete the override for job level so let me change it otherwise it will give error okay so so it is mandatory if you are uh, using over scope then you at the time of o delete override also you need to mention it otherwise it will crash at the program calling time run time so I'm calling this so this time it shows the data from library 2 but if we try to run the command select star from shermit1 slash test pf1 then it will show data only from the 1 to 5 not from 10 to 5, 15 because this time we delete the override in the pr same program and if you check with the command then you can see now there is no override okay so this is the advantage of override database file command one more thing you can't do run query if you are changing the name of the uh, overriding overriding file that we will see in the next session but for now we just discuss how to use over dbf command for accessing data from two uh, accessing data of same file from different library in the next session we will discuss few more scenarios so thank you for watching texture method